What started off as Arab Spring has turned morbidly into Arab Fall. What began as a seasonal description became directional and self-destructive. Not only have movements that looked promising failed to benefit anyone but Israel, they have drawn their sponsors exorbitantly towards bankruptcy. The Israelis and their lobbyists in the United States laugh quietly when they hear someone complain about the three billion dollars in annual gifts America sends to Israel. Why is that funny? Because it only represents a tiny portion of what Israel really costs America. Add the total cost of all the wars the U.S. has fought for Israel. The Iraq war alone has cost America 815 billion dollars and it's still not over. It has benefited no one but Israel, not America, and certainly not Iraq. The number of Iraqis slaughtered in the U.S. war and occupation of Iraq is 1,455,590. Nearly half a million people have died from war-related causes in Iraq since the U.S.-led invasion in 2003, according to an academic study by a research team from the Universities of Washington, John Hopkins, Simon Fraser in Mustanceria from October 2013. Anyone with a few hours of work as an investigative journalist and a calculator would know that Israel has been the sole beneficiary of Iraq's near total destruction. One must ask the same question about the other imbroglios that America has been supporting in the Middle East, who has benefited. Support for the uprising in Egypt America echoed protesters chanting Dan with Mubarak in favor of democracy until democracy elected Morsi, the wrong man for Israel. Whatever happens in Egypt, Israel is determined to be the beneficiary. Repeated bombings of Libya were designed to get rid of Muammar Gaddafi so that Israel wouldn't have to worry about what Libya's madmen would do with Libya's petrodollars. The Pentagon spent 1.1 billion in 2011 to launch attacks to destroy that country's air defenses and establish a no-fly zone. America and NATO paid. Only Israel benefited. Syria, controlling chemical weapons. More than 1 billion per month. No-fly zone, another 1 billion a month, already cost 100,000 lives. Refugees cost $7.5 billion. Shimon Peres acknowledged the benefit to Israel of the death and destruction in Syria. Quote, Today, the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad is punished for his refusal to compromise with Israel and the Syrian people will pay for it. The Syrians, America and Saudi Arabia pay. Israel benefits. Led by Israel, Iran is currently Israel's major objective of death-dealing slaughter in the Middle East. The efforts Israel makes to convince the world that Iran has nuclear weapons or wants to develop them have been non-stop. Israel's propaganda campaign is as constant and effective as anything Herr Goebbels put together in Germany. Currently, Iran and the P5 plus 1 nations are looking for a way to avoid the fates of the countries suffering from Arab Spring becoming Arab Fall. Until a fair and reasonable solution can be negotiated, Iran will suffer from undeserved sanctions while Israel benefits. Palestine continues to be the major victim of Israel's perfidy as it has been for the last 50 years. Total costs of war since 2001, $1.5 trillion. The war in Afghanistan, $667 billion. The war in Iraq, $815 billion. Millions of lives lost and impoverished. Monstrous, unjustifiable expenses dictated by Tel Aviv. The world loses. Israel remains the only real beneficiary.